in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends we the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore greet you once again in the name of risen jesus and warmly welcome you to carmel light reflection on the day's gospel it's the tuesday of the fourth week of easter the holy gospel according to john chapter 10 verses 22 to 30 it was the feast of the dedication at jerusalem it was winter and jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of solomon so the jews gathered round him and said to him how long will you keep us in suspense if you are the christ tell us plainly jesus answered them i told you and you do not believe the works that i do in my father's name they bear witness to me but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me and i give them eternal life and they shall never perish and no one shall snatch them out of my hand my father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand i and the father are one the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends john the evangelist is keen to give us some interesting details of the or that surround the message what are those details the feast of the dedication of the temple is known as hanuka The feast of the dedication of the temple is known as Hanukkah. The writer says it was the feast of the dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was walking in the temple. The Jews had thrown off the pagan yoke and become free people in their own land. The pagans had desecrated their temple turning it into an altar to Zeus Z E U S But now under the brave leadership of Judas Maccabeus it had been rededicated to the true and living God Now once again they could celebrate the presence of God among them Jesus The son of God enters into the temple and makes it the genuine temple. God dwells in his home. The question that the Jews posed to Jesus no matter with what motive is significant and symbolic. How much longer are you going to keep us in suspense? that's the question if you are the christ tell us plainly it comes to us as a deepest ever present human quest to know his god that's the fundamental quest that the human being has to know god the center of our quest is god himself in answer to them and us jesus unfolds many things what does he say he is a shepherd who knows his sheep personally 
expects that his sheep listen to him follow him wherever he goes that they be convinced that they are under his loving caring and safe protection and that he offers them eternal life he even proclaims that the sheep belongs to his father and that the father has gifted them him you see the jews asked a question and how many assurances we got as an answer to this question so let's not be afraid to ask questions god but always with the attitude of humility and knowing genuinely not with arrogance we need to acknowledge my dear friends and understand our dignity and worth the mighty works that the shepherd has done in our life should help us to cling on to him closely love him in return with the love that pleases him grow deeper in faith and share that love with others the first followers those fervent christians are the models in the first reading today taken from acts of the apostles chapter 11 19 to 26 verses we see that in antioch the disciples were for the first time called christians so these christians are models whose way of life drew many a believers into their fold making it a mighty church of the risen lord let us pray my dear friends today is the birthday of blair norona valerian pinto from mumbai and late teresa seravo from tottam we greet them saying happy birthday and we pray for their intentions It's also the wedding anniversary of John and Preeti Fernandez from Womanjur and the ordination day of Reverend Father Lawrence Timollo a Carmelite priest. We congratulate them and we pray God's choicest blessings on their married and priestly life. Also we remember our own personal intentions. with you as my guide i will not want you are my shepherd lord nothing shall i fear amen pray for god's blessings may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen This is Father Stephen Pereira Carmelite priest for any contact you can whatsapp me my number is 94812 63229 there's all for today my dear friends have a great day see you tomorrow thank you